After Kourtney Kardashian walked the red carpet with her youngest son, Rain, at the premiere of the Kardashians' new Hulu show, fans once again started to believe that Rain's father is Justin Bieber. Scott Disick and Kourtney Kardashian were having a lot of problems in public with their relationship when Rain was born. This was less than a year before they broke up for good. Because of this, there has always been some talk about Rain's father. Is Justin Bieber the father of Kourtney Kardashian's son, Rain Disick? Rain was conceived while Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick were on the rock. I am 40. Oh no, I guess. Do you think I look 40? Yeah. I thought you just said I'm 26. Yeah, you are 26. Even though they were having problems, Disick and Kardashian were probably still together when Rain was born. Kardashian and Bieber didn't start hanging out until after Rain was born, but the theory still stands. Paige McCloskey, a TikTok theorist, brought back the old rumors when she posted a video on about what she thought about the conspiracy theory. Even though it's just a theory and Bieber is probably not Rain's father, her story sounded kind of true, even though it was a little bit of a stretch. Let me start by saying that I love the Kardashians and Justin Bieber. This is just a theory, so please don't sue me. She starts by talking about Bieber's relationship with the Kardashians. She says that Bieber did a photo shoot with Kim Kardashian in the Bahamas in 2010 and has been friends with the family ever since. Rain's birthday is December 14, 2014, which means he was conceived in March of the same year, about nine months before. McCloskey said of Courtney and Scott's relationship, this is a big reason why they were having problems. When Scott was still drunk, there were rumors that he went out with models and didn't do what he was supposed to do. Disick was accused of cheating on Kardashian for years, but as far as we know, Kardashian was always faithful. Fans of Keeping Up with the Kardashians know that Disick wasn't around much when Kardashian was pregnant with her last child. When Rain was only six months old, the two of them broke up for good. McCloskey, on the other hand, makes it sound like the two might have been apart and doing their own things, seeing other people and doing whatever they wanted at the time. Well, Scott Disick was not happy when Kourtney Kardashian was expecting Rain. Also, Kourtney Kardashian and Justin Bieber were rumored to be dating in 2015. I can't see you. <laughs> And I don't have any arms. Courtney, I see you a lot. Shut up. McCloskey talks about a KUWTK episode in which Kardashian tells Disick that she is pregnant. She says that Scott's reaction during the episode is that he is upset, doesn't know what to do with himself, and is honestly shocked. After hearing the news that night, he didn't come home because he was so upset. She is right. In the clip that was shown, Disick's anger about the news is clear. A year after Rain was born, in late 2015, there were rumors that Kardashian and Bieber had been dating and hanging out for months. McCloskey says, which is very close to right around around the time Rain was born and conceived. Even though Bieber and Kardashian are said to have known each other for a long time, no one has ever said that they have been hooking up since Rain was born in March 2014. Even though it was said that they were hanging out so much later than when Rain was born, they could have been hanging out then, it just wasn't public, McCloskey says. Some believe Rain looks more like Justin Bieber than Scott Disick. Also, Kourtney Kardashian allegedly refused a paternity test for Rain. <laughs> I think we need to do some soul searching. Speak for yourself. No, you do too. How can that's uh, that's actually not a good soul. McCloskey says that the fact that Rain and Bieber looked so much like babies brought her back to the conspiracy theory. This is true. She compares Rain to Mason Disick, another child of Courtney and Scott's, and points out that they don't look much alike at all. Rain has much lighter features and looks more like a child that could have been fathered by Bieber than Disick. This is said to have been a problem for Disick, which is part of why he allegedly asked Kardashian for a paternity test in 2017. Sources said that the fact that Mason and Penelope look like Scott, but Rain looks more like his mother, gets under under Scott's skin. There were many times when they broke up and didn't see each other for weeks, the source said. When they fought a lot, Courtney went out of her way to get back at them. She often went to parties with her friends and close guy friends. McCloskey also talks about a photo that Bieber posted on Instagram on December 13, 2015, in which he poses in front of an Audi with a woman who was thought to be Courtney. Around this time, rumors were going around that they were hanging out together. The caption says, Lord knows, which many people think is a dig at Scott because he calls himself Lord Disick. Another TikToker, Kodak Nat said that she was adding fuel to this fire by bringing up reports from December 2017, close to Rain's third birthday, that say Disick asked Kardashian for a paternity test for Rain, but that Kardashian refused. The Kardashian family never said that these rumors were true, but a source said that Disick had become suspicious about Rain's father. It was also said that Kardashian had signed a paternity form for the couple's first child, Mason, back in 2013. At the time, there were rumors that a male model she had a one-night stand with was Mason's real father. Again, none of these 
these rumors have been confirmed, but if they are true, it seems strange that Kardashian agreed to a DNA test for one child but not for another. All these are just theories and guesses, but it's interesting to see what people come up with when they have enough clues. In other news, Kourtney Kardashian reveals why she rejected Scott Disick when he secretly proposed twice. You never asked as a favor, never once. After dating for less than a year, Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker just recently announced they are engaged. Five months later, Kardashian sat down with Bustle to talk about how she has changed in the past five months. Before she started dating Barker, Kardashian's most famous relationship was with the father of her three children. They were together for 10 years. When Barker asked Kardashian to marry him, fans thought back to the times when her ex-boyfriend Scott Disick tried to ask her to marry him but she said no. Now, Kardashian has said that there might be a reason why she didn't want to say yes. I just couldn't make up my mind, Kardashian says. I felt like I needed to talk to a lot of people to help me make decisions. I think it was a time when I felt less sure of myself or wasn't in the best relationships. The interview also makes it sound like Kardashian took control of the chaos caused by Disick's drug use by just saying no. In a 2017 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Disick told Kim and Khloe Kardashian that he had once bought an engagement ring for the oldest Kardashian sister, but they never actually got engaged. Kim told Khloe, this was a really nice and cool arranged for ring, but he gave it back. I don't think we actually told anyone about it, Scott said. It was kind of cute, but then we were afraid of things like the media and other things, so we said, let's put the ring away and talk about it another time. Never brought it up again. Scott asked Courtney to marry him again in 2017. However, Scott's partying ultimately pushed Courtney away. During their four-day family trip to Costa Rica, Disick is said to have asked his ex-girlfriend to marry him. He is said to have told Kardashian, let's get married. Instead of giving her a ring, the reality star turned down his offer right right away, even though she wasn't even with the father of her three kids at the time. It seems like the rejection made Disick drink a lot, go to parties, and flirt with different women. In the media, Disick is known for always going out and drinking, as well as having trouble staying sober. In an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians from October 2020, the 38-year-old talked about his serious health worries. My life hasn't always been easy. I used to drink, party, and go out a lot, so my body has been through some rough waters and taken some pretty bad beatings. I never thought any of that could have an effect on me in the long run. Disick said on the reality show. The Disick's spending, partying, and drinking habits made her not only not want to marry him, but also not want to get back together with him at all. Since Kardashian has been dating Barker, Disick recently spoke about the PDA between Kardashian and Barker. Back in August, he said that Disick sent a message to Eunice Benjamin, who Kardashian dated from 2016 to 2018, to talk about how upset he was that paparazzi had caught Kardashian and Barker making out while they were on vacation. Benjamin didn't feel the same way, so he put screenshots of their conversation on his Instagram story. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we had for today. Who do you believe is the child's biological father? Comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, cheers.